So I purchased the five main mystery tackle box style services out there. We've got Monster Bass, Mystery Tackle Box, Six Cents, Outsider Tackle Box, and Lucky Tackle Box. And I'll put on the screen how much I paid for them and if I got any coupon codes or anything like that. This is my first time trying pretty much any of these out. I have tried the Mystery Tackle Box out. Figured I'd give them a second shot because I really wasn't that impressed with the first. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start here. We'll start with the outsider box. And again, the prices will be on the screen. And there's two things I'm looking at when I'm looking at these boxes. The first thing is variety. Are there things in here that I haven't tried before? Like I've never tried a buzz bait before, believe it or not. So that's something cool. Um, things that I wouldn't necessarily buy, but because I'm getting them, I'll try them out. Maybe I find something that works a lot better than I thought it would. And the other thing is value. I'm a cheapo. I want, I want double my value of what I pay for something. Uh, so the first thing in this box is offspring buzz bait. Looks like a good little lure there. I got a glow pro lure sticker. So I'm assuming there's a glow pro something in here. Norman lures, fat boy, it goes about four foot, looks like a square, square bill. Yep, it's okay. Uh, cool Baits Company Grubs, uh, that looks like a, just some samples or something. It only looks like there's about six of them in there. Uh, Drew's Custom Baits. There's only three of them in there. They look really cool. I wish they had given me something more than three because that's, you know, it's kind of annoying. Here's the Glow Pro. It's a soft lipless. Uh, honestly, this looks like a factory second or something that they, you know, got for really cheap because the colors are bleeding everywhere on it. And, uh, it's pretty much just red all over. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the thing or not, but, yeah, it's not that, that impressive. Um, Blue Ridge Baits, Ripper Shad, and Ocean Blue Pearl. These are actually... These are actually pretty cool. I actually like these a lot. I love that color, uh, and they're a decent size. What, about four inch? Is that what it says? It is 3.5, so three and a half inch. Yeah, I, I like those a lot. That's the first thing in here I've been really impressed with. And you've got some yum dingers here and a green pumpkin, and that's it. There's nothing else in here. I think there's a couple stickers or something. Yeah, another outsider sticker. So let's go over that real quick. Let's take a look what all we got and again I'm sorry it's just me here I don't have anything special other than my phone so I'm just gonna lay it all out for you and that's what we got I figure these are what three dollars at the store two ninety nine so three bucks there this is probably we'll say two dollars being generous but it's really probably only a dollar so that's worth five this is probably a you know, if you went to a store, they'd have these on sale definitely because it's not a. I've never heard of Norman Lures. Maybe you guys have. Let's say five dollars. So we're at ten right there. We'll say another five. That's fifteen. This is probably another five. That's twenty. Two. That's twenty-two. And then we'll say five on this here. So we'll say twenty-seven dollars total. And I think. And again, I'm going off memory, but you guys will see at the bottom of the thing how much I paid for this. One out of ten, I'd honestly give this box a five. I'm really not that impressed with it. For the price, I could just go out and buy stuff like this. This is really the only thing in here I thought was really cool. It was kind of custom and neat that you don't see it all the time. Uh, I can go into Walmart and buy the lures or Dick Sporting Goods or any other place and buy the exact lures I want for the same value. Because really, I got, what, maybe five dollars over value something I will mention with this place that I was not happy with Let's see if I can flip this over here show you coupon box so I used a coupon for this and they put that on the box which tells me they sent probably something that was lesser value than what they normally send so take that for what it's worth I wasn't too happy with that I also wasn't too happy with their referral program thing they said if you got referred by someone you would get an extra bag of tackle and they would too well this is all I got I didn't get anything extra so I will not be going with these guys again uh, let's go ahead and check out the mystery tackle box now this is their pro so they have the normal they have the pro and then they have the elite so this is the mid-range 
Uh, you guys have seen these openings before. You've seen what it looks like. I'm not even going to look at the bait card because, honestly, we'll, I mean, th these are their numbers that they've probably pumped up. These are steroid numbers. That's probably not what you're going to pay in the store. If you're like me, you go in the store and you buy stuff on sale. I don't have to have a bait. I wait for it to go on sale. Uh, you get your tips and tricks, all that. Uh, you got a couple stickers. That's actually a pretty cool sticker there. Uh, welcome aboard. All right, first thing we have is an Evo Swim 4-inch. This is really cool. This looks like something prehistoric. Uh, Biospawn, genetically engineered baits. That's pretty neat. That looks like a nice bait. I like that. Alright, then we have the Ocho Glacier. So it's like a clear... I don't know. This, this would probably be good for a wacky rig or something like that. I like that. That's actually pretty cool too. Then we have Eliminators. I'm not saying that like a moron. That's actually what it's called. It doesn't really look like an eel, but it's got that really cool paddle tail on there, so it may give you a neat action. It's got some red flakes in there. Uh, these look like this is something that I probably wouldn't buy, but I'm glad they sent it to me because I'll try it. You know, a lot of times you get a lure or like soft baits and you don't want to spend $6 for them to see if they work or not. Uh, so that's, that's neat. Got ourselves a football jig. 97% pure tungsten. Pretty cool. Stickies, finely crafted hooks. I believe this is a Carl's brand, so it's the house brand. Um, you get seven pack, three aught. That's pretty cool. Never have too many hooks. Um, I've honestly never used these weight stoppers before. I don't. I've seen them for sale, but I've never. I don't even know how you would use them exactly. That tells you how much of a novice I am at fishing. And lastly, we have Danny the Duck, which is a topwater duck lure. Pretty weedless there. Um, that looks pretty cool. I would have never bought a duck lure because, honestly, I don't want to spend 10 or $12 to get one and find out that it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and get this stuff spread out here. Football jig. Um, Alright, so that's everything. Uh, not a bad box overall. Um, let's go ahead and go through this. Let's say four bucks for those. So we'll put those in there for, we'll say 10 for this. It's 14 that we're at. We'll say a dollar for this and four dollars for this. So while well, we were at 14, let's round it up to six for both of these. So we're at 20 right there. That's probably three dollars. 23 this is probably six so we're at 29 dollars and another six here so we're at 35 dollars total which is pretty much what you pay for the box unless you use a coupon for your first order so overall value not really but the variety was awesome so i'd probably give this one a seven out of ten i did like the box uh, let's go ahead and get that one out of the way uh, let's go to Lucky Tackle Box. Now, I should go ahead and mention, I think Lucky Tackle Box is closed. I think they're done. I don't think they exist anymore. Uh, people have been complaining for a long time about them, uh, getting the same repeat boxes over and over again. And I noticed on their website, they were selling their tournament series box, which is normally $46, and you supposedly get $80 with the gear. I got this for $10 plus five shipping, so I got it for $15. And uh, I was like, well, if I like it, I'll buy a bunch more. Well, unfortunately, if you go on the site, nothing works. Uh, you try to email customer service, it bounces back to you saying uh, the customer service is no longer here uh, due to website error. If you try calling them, their number's dead. Uh, if you try adding anything to a cart, it doesn't let you or the product just disappears or it gives you the 404 website era, error. So um, anyhow, yeah, I, I think they're close, but... I bought the box, so let's go ahead and review it. Maybe they're just revamping it. I don't know. So this is their tournament series. This is their next step up over the standard. And remember, this is supposed to have like $80 of the stuff in it, but I only paid $15 for it. So I'm not going to expect too much. Um, Lunker Hunt Froglet. That's the weirdest shaped frog I've ever seen. I don't know what the hell... That's cool. I mean, Lunker Hunt's usually pretty expensive, so. Uh, let's see here. Got some California Classic Grubs, Golden State Grub. That looks like just little cheap grubs, nothing special there. 
uh, Logic Lure scented. They already rigged up and everything. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. And you have the hula sticks and the copper truce. You've got the red and orange specks in there, as you can see. They're kind of like a watermelon color. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's... I guess you would Ned rig that. I'm not sure. It's pretty, they're pretty long. What are they, four? Yeah, four inches. So. Um, this was neat. This is a BB Rattler. I've never seen this before. Um, but it's got a little spoon style thing. And it's got rattles in there. Sorry. Shaking the camera and not the... <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't. I mean, I don't know how well it would do, but uh, it's worth a shot. Like I said, variety. Try new things. Got some Mustad weighted hooks here in pink, which I don't think the fish are going to mind. This is pretty cool, the Ragnar. Let me see if I can get closer to that. That is pretty neat. Let's see what it says here. And Viking lure, berserker, was a warrior, blah, blah, blah. Basically nothing to do with fishing. Um, but it looks like a cool lure. So, you know. All right. Wild thing. Super scented. And flat wild green pumpkin. So it's kind of like a creature soft bait. That looks kind of cool. It almost looks like a... I don't know, man. That's going to have like a crazy action on it. And again, I would love to take these out for you guys. But you've seen soft baits and lures before I don't need to take them out plus it would be kind of hard for me to take them out doing this with just one hand some must add treble hooks this is kind of weird uh, supposedly these things have earthworm juice in them so I don't know what would you I guess you use that for all sorts of things crappy bass I don't know that's interesting I haven't seen that before it's definitely, it definitely has the juice in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yep. Game Changer, or Gam, uh, Gambler, I don't know why I said Game Changer. That'd be a cool name for a bait, Game Changer. Uh, the Gambler Go Fish. Looks like they're just some uh, craws. But uh, they, nice color. You know, you got the blue in, on one side with the speckles and uh, black on the other. That was pretty neat. We've got a looks like a trout. Was this a jerk bait? I guess max depth. It's kind of neat. I like the paint job on it. It's it looks really pretty. And I think that's it. No, we got one more. Another one from T Bone Minnow. And this one goes five feet. So yeah, not. Not bad at all. Let's, uh, let's move this back. Take a look at what all we got here. So you guys can kind of see. It's going to take up more room than, than I have to show you here. Put the hooks there. And we'll go through each of these one at a time. So yeah, it's actually a lot of stuff for $15 ship. That that was awesome. I, I sure hope that they're not closed. But anytime a company does something like that, when they, they're selling stuff that cheap, it means that they're getting rid of what they have and they're planning on closing. So um, it's too bad this is my first experience with them because I thought it was awesome. If I had paid the $46 this box normally was, I would have been happy with this in value. I am thrilled with the value on it now. So let's go ahead and go through that. Uh, what do you want to say? Four... Let's say five dollars for those. So yeah, it is a Ned rig. Okay, five dollars for that. Uh, I'll say five dollars for that. That's ten. We'll say four. That's fourteen. We'll say six for this one. So that's twenty. Uh, five for those. That's twenty-five there. We'll say another five. That's thirty. We'll say ten for that. They're pretty expensive in the store. So that's forty dollars. We'll say. 10 for this one, that's 50, 55, 57, we'll say two bucks for that, we'll say we'll even that out to 60, 63, say three bucks for that, we'll say 68, so five bucks for that, $68 for 15 bucks, and there's a ton of variety in there, I know people 
Shit Talk Lucky Tackle Box. This is my first time that I ever ordered with them and sadly probably will be the last. But I thought that was awesome. That's like over $60 of the stuff. You normally pay $46 for it. I got on sale for their site for $15 shipped. That is an awesome box. I give that a 9. I give it a 10 out of 10. How can I complain about anything? I just wish there was a little more hard baits in there, but whatever. Moving on. Six cents box. And it comes in a bag, ironically. All right, so I was really... Oh, let me get my foot out of the way here. It's falling asleep. Um, I was super excited about these because everyone online was saying, you know, they, they send you some good lures. And also, if you go in the store, Six Cents lures are never on sale. At least not in Academy or wherever I see them for sale. Honestly, just Academy. They're always like 10 to $15 a piece. And the paint jobs on them is amazing. So I was really exciting, excited at $26 a month for their pro bag. Um, let me see here. First one is the Cloud 9. Dives 12 to 19 feet. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Well, it's a chartreuse pearl. That's probably... Well, well, we'll get to the prices here in a minute. Next up, have a Cloud 9 C6. Dives 4 to 8 feet. Yeah, it's a pretty lure. It's got a lot of good colors on there. It's cool. We have a curve 55. It's a nice red there. It dives five to nine feet. Let's see here. We've got some divine shaky head with screw lock. I haven't tried these before, so in a quarter ounce, that's perfect. That is going to be awesome. I will definitely try that out. And then we have the Movement 80 in a Spanish Pearl. These dive only one to three feet, so pretty much top water. Um, that's awesome. I, I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but the coloration on this is amazing. I, this is probably my favorite of the bunch. I think that's actually, nope, There's one more. And the Crush 50S Silent, so it doesn't have doesn't have any. Dives two to five feet. Looks like it's in a blue gill. What does it say? Sunfish Magic. Three eight ounce. So yeah, that's for $26. Um, and again, I never see these things on sale, so I'm just gonna give you the prices I think they'd go for. What do you think about? Let's start with this one. 12 bucks, you think? So we're at 12. Say about eight for this one. We're at 20. Say about 10 for this one. It's 30. I don't know. 38. Forty-three. We'll say five bucks for those. It's probably probably undervaluing that. So we're at forty, what is that? Forty-three. We'll say we'll say seven or eight dollars. So fifty-one dollars worth of lures for twenty-six bucks a month ship. That's without a coupon. That's tax everything for their pro box. That is amazing. Um because I never buy their lures because they're so damn expensive. I'm not going to spend $10 on a lure. I'm just too cheap. So this, the box gets a 10 out of 10 for value on variety. Honestly, I'd give the box about, I give it about a 7. Uh, and the reason is, is because there's no soft baits here. Now, Six Cents is not a soft bait company. They do hard baits mostly from what, I, from what I'm aware anyways. So the reason these things are so cheap is because you're getting them direct from the manufacturer. You're not getting a middleman like with these other boxes. You're getting them direct from the maker. Uh, so I love this box. Overall, I would give this a, I give this a nine out of ten. I mean, it's just for value alone, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way here. Move on to the last one, which is Monster Tackle Box. Uh, word about this company is spread like wildfire. Uh, very short quick backstory they used to be a part of lucky tackle box the owner was the co-owner of lucky tackle box he had difference of opinions with them left and started monster tackle box or monster excuse me monster bass box uh, they don't have any other boxes right now it's just this main one type box you know you send in your money i think it's like 30 dollars a month um so let's go ahead and open it up uh this is their very first box actually 
And basically what they're saying here is that they will send you lures based on your area. So if you're in the southeast or the south rather, they're going to send you lures that are working in the south. If you're in the west, they're not going to send you the same lures that are working in the south. They're going to send you lures in the west. Um, and then at the end of two weeks, they'll send you a survey so you can tell them what works for you, what doesn't work for you, uh, and they can you know, make their boxes better, which is kind of cool. No other company's doing that, so kind of neat. I have a Monster Bass sticker. Ah, get out of the way, it's windy. Uh, $10 off. You guys can go ahead and use that. Store 10. I think it works on anything, so there you go. Booyah spinning bait. Nothing special here. I mean, it's a good brand. Live Target. Uh, I've never caught anything on these. I'm convinced the theory that that works... Uh, the theory works, but I haven't yet to catch anything, but I don't have this exact one. Uh, there's a store named Ollie's. I don't know if you guys have them where you're at, but where I'm at, you can get live target baits there for 50% off. So I routinely get these for 6 bucks, but I know they normally sell for about 10 or 12 in the store. So kind of cool. Uh, doesn't say how deep it goes. 12 feet, so pretty deep. Little Ned Rig Green Pumpkin Lures. I'm like a pumpkin green. So I'm hoping they sent me some Ned Rigs in here, which they did. Nice of them. See, that's awesome. They're thinking about that. They're not just tossing in Ned Rig soft baits without sending you some Ned Rig finesse rooms. Some Daichi 4 aught hooks. A little rattle trap. You know, these are like $5 at Walmart. They're really nothing special. I really haven't used any lipless rattle trap before, but hey. Give it a try. Some Rage Craw with the coffee scent. And they do smell like coffee because um, I'm using them right now actually on my pond. So kind of cool. And a green pumpkin. Pumpkin seems to be the... This is awesome here. This is what I was really excited about. Doomsday Tackle. Um, you know, there's some lures that catch fish and there's some lures that catch anglers. I'm not quite sure if this which one this is maybe both um but it definitely caught me because these are these are just neat they've got like aluminum foil in there or if you're british they'd be aluminium but pretty cool pretty cool shad i this would definitely catch a bass's attention so i like that that's neat and then smart baits. This is exactly what I was just talking about. Some things are for catching anglers and some for catching fish. I really don't think the fish cares if the water is cold and the lure is red or if it's warm, the lure is green. I really don't think the fish is going to care. Um, I would buy it anyways because I think it's neat as hell to have something that's color changing like that. But um, yeah, you probably get cool action from that. You've got two things on the side there with hooks on the end of them. And then you've got the center tail there, so you probably get some crazy action out of that. But let's go ahead and move these out of the way. Something I will say about this company that I'm a little bit ticked off about is the fact that I ordered in June and they sent me the May box. And two days later, after I received these, they had on their website a thing saying... Uh, the May slash June box and they had done all this but then they added like two or three more lures so about $20 worth more of stuff so I kind of feel I don't know a little bit cheated I'm gonna be I'm gonna whine about it a little bit so that I didn't really make me feel too good all right let's go ahead and go through this so we'll say six bucks for those six bucks for these that's twelve dollars six bucks for these that's eighteen uh ch -ch -ch. Mm, we'll just say two for these to round it out, right? So we'll say twenty bucks there. We'll say we'll say ten on that because you're not all going to get the deal I got. So that's thirty, thirty-five, thirty-eight, forty-one. So forty-six dollars total value in there, and we paid I think thirty dollars a month. Again, I'll have that at the bottom of the screen. So. Not bad in value. Uh, I think if you shop around like I do, you know, you go to Dick's, and uh, based on how they treat gun owners, they are Dick's. I try not to shop there. Academy, you know, your local sports place, you probably can find a lot of this stuff on deals and get similar pricing to this. But they did have a good variety in here. And uh, just based off of what I see them doing with their boxes, like I said, their June box had these same lures, but they had more of them in there. They called it their May slash June box. And, uh, 
anyways, yeah. So um, I think the value is pretty good on this. I would give this box a an 8 out of 10. If I had got the box with the extra stuff in it, I would be giving them a 10 out of 10, but I'm, I'm just a little bit annoyed by that. But, you know, what are you going to do? I'm not the type to email and complain. So, yeah, that's all of them. Give me a minute to put this down, and I'll get all of the lures uh, put out and kind of give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, so I tried my best to, like, put things together with the boxes they came with, but there's just too much here. So I just tossed it all in. It's sort of kind of mixed together um, but all mixed in uh, damn it everything's flying everywhere with the wind anyways uh, so yeah this is pretty much I just went crazy I figured I'd try them all out um, I, I've got a lot of cool baits here to try out um, I would really have liked advice for any of these places take it for what it is I think one of you guys should definitely put a whopper plopper in there. I know it's like a $10 or $15 lure, but I've not tried one before, and I'm dying to try one. So food for thought. A lot of people would like to grab one of those. Um, that's something we'd like to see at value because if there are people out there like me that are cheapos, they're not wanting to spend $15 on that. Um, outsider, I would not try again. Just based off of the coupon box thing, the fact that they completely forgot the referral thing, and the fact that I was, eh, about the stuff in the box, it's not worth it to me. Sorry. Even with the coupon, even at whatever I paid for it, again, at the bottom of the screen, you may have to go back to see that, but uh, not again. Mystery Tackle Box, um, I, you know, I'd be giving, I'd be willing to give them another shot, maybe. Um, they, it's, it was a pretty good box, um, so a maybe on them. I don't think... They're the best in value, but I really like their variety. Their variety was kick-ass. Uh, the Six Cents, without a doubt, my favorite. I'm not going to cancel that one. $26 a month, all those lures, that's a no-brainer. I like I like hard baits. To me, you get the most money out of them. I mean, I'll be using those for years, uh, whereas soft baits, you know, I'll use one season, and I'll probably have used them all up. Um, so definitely Six Cents, by far $26 a month shipped. The Pro Box, that is the best deal here. Um, the Lucky Tackle Box was probably my favorite, to be honest, uh, uh, next to the Sixth Sense because just all this, the value got was crazy. I'm not going to say the variety was anything that blew me away, but the value of what all you got was great. And I, like I said, I think they're closing, so it really doesn't matter. And then there is Monster Bass. Um, I think the value, if you got the June Box that had the extra things in it like mine should have had, I would say the value is actually very good, and um, I like what they're trying to do with the company, and uh, yeah, the variety was awesome. I actually like the variety a little bit more than Mystery Tackle Box, so I'm going to keep doing the six cents. I don't think Lucky Tackle Box is an option anymore. I'm probably going to give Monster Tackle Box another try as well. I don't know about Mystery Tackle Box, but yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you know... Jesus, just look at all this stuff. This is crazy. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. Danny the Duck. Gosh, that's a stupid name, isn't it? All right, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.